I didn't really get bullied. I mean, I still think I didn't really get bullied. But, you know, telling some people my experience, they were like, oh, you got bullied. But I didn't really call it that. I would just call it teasing, you know? Each their own, right? I'm gonna give you a guy from me. Let's start off with school. When I was in high school, there were a few, you know, controversies, I like to call it. For example, there was one time where, let's say someone would be like, something common, which it wasn't bullying, it just annoyed me. Paris, are you from Paris? Have you ever been to Paris? The classic joke that I've heard a thousand times. I'm sure other Parises have heard it a thousand times. I think, I like to think of bullying as trolling. Some people might say, but bullying and trolling aren't the same. I would like to say they're almost exactly the same. Except, let's say trolling. Someone's trolling. There's maybe being racist, sexist, homophobic, something like that. They're trying to get a reaction out of you, right? The same with bullying, maybe. They kind of want to push you around, do something like that. This generation, which I am technically a part of this generation, but not, which is weird. <laughs> but this generation, people will get bullied, trolled, whatever. It's become definitely bigger, but it's also become more talked about, right? My solutions, of course, which might not be the best solution. Because in my school, we were taught, do not fight back. If you are in a fist fight, run and get a teacher. If you witness a fist fight, run and get a teacher, get an adult so they can separate it. You were also taught not to fight back, which never made sense. I'm gonna be getting punched in the face and just be like, hey, it's okay. When I was in Texas, there was a moment where, like I said, I it was mostly mental when it came to getting bullied. Not in high school or middle school, but in, I'd say grade school. Most people would tease me, you know, maybe it being about my mom, my race, etc. I didn't care though and I eventually went to Texas and you know I wasn't exactly a bully but I was also one of those kids that teased girls that I liked yeah I didn't realize that until I entered high school and I realized I teased girls that I liked yeah I was one of those kids yeah <laughs> but I remember this one this one time my first fight was with this one kid there was this little smaller than me ginger buck tea freckles he looked like one of those classic nerds brown eyes and he was getting bullied by the this one guy my beliefs and not beliefs in religion my beliefs in being a man <laughs> nothing about being a man but being you just being you this kid kept getting bullied by this other kid I don't remember his name and he would smack him punch him but he would do it when the teachers not there the moment the teacher came in, guess what he would stop doing? He would stop doing it. And I thought to myself, this guy's a loser. This guy is pathetic. Picture class where we were taking pictures and we were in there. And once again, he was punching this kid and the teacher was gone. Wasn't thinking anything. I didn't exactly present myself so you can say I sucker punched him. But I went up to him and I punched him in the face. And then we punched each other. And you know, that kid never got bullied. But the, And that kid never bullied someone else again. Getting beat up in front of a whole class probably isn't i mean me and that guy that i beat up we, we were fine after went to the next grade and you know i he waved i waved i was like we're cool now it's about the lesson remember there's this one video of this guy smacking this kid because he said the n-word which I'm black. To be honest, I just think the N-word's stupid. I honestly just think it's stupid. Shouldn't be used at all. And I think it lost its meaning a long time ago. And that kid got smacked for saying the N-word to this one guy. And a lot of people were like, wow, getting offended over it. But the thing is, I'm not saying that it's right, but I'm not saying that it's wrong. That kid probably ain't gonna ever say that word again because he got taught his lesson. If I talk to someone, I have to take time out of my day and stuff like that, and maybe they'll change their mind, maybe. A lot of people, I've also realized people are just dumb. You have to realize people are dumb. School, life, people are like, oh, there's some people that are different, but they aren't different, they're dumb. The way you think of it, there's people that think Earth is flat. It's just, it's just wrong. You can try to logic all this stuff, they're just wrong. There's no point in arguing with them because they're just dumb. When it comes to the internet is some people will be dumb and they'll find a community of other idiots and then that community will grow. It's the lovely life of the internet, isn't it? Someone will use logic somewhere, and then once it's used against them, they're like, what? Reminds me, I saw this other video where this woman was saying how she got like s something amount of abortions and people were like, this is disgusting. But I'm like, it's the same exact thing when like someone goes to a vegan and they eat a burger. It's the same, they're trolling. They're trolling, she's trolling. Do you really think she got five, like goddamn hundred abortions? It wasn't that big of a number. But do you really think she got that many abortions? She's saying that that to get a reaction out of you. I messaged someone, hey, is it okay if your gamertag appears in this YouTube video? Just Rainbow Six Siege. This guy messages me.
I have no idea what that means. I'm scraping my mind. And, you know, it means those words that I can't exactly say on YouTube. He instantly deleted that message. He deleted it. You get the notification. So I just, you know, open it up. I look at the notification and I'm like, hmm, man messaged then used his head and then he said which is just i was shivering oh my god i was scared i was scared you don't want me to say what i'm thinking what a terrifying comment oh my god he's gonna talk about my mom oh my god he's gonna talk about my cast oh my god someone over the internet is going to say something negative towards me this day and age i mean who who cares and i said to him thinking you want to make love to me but i'm straight Thank you for the compliment. And he didn't respond. I'm pretty sure he blocked me. I don't mind if someone says something hateful, even if I don't agree with it. If you say something, you say something. But if you go back on what you say, then you're just a pussy. Goddamn, say it with your chest. Say it with your legs. Say it with your whole body. But don't come back and switch up and not even apologize. Like, if you apologize and then rework it, then fine. But if you just say, you don't want me to say, or, or you just pretend it didn't happen, then you're just a people that bully other people are pussies. Especially if you do it behind closed doors. Like, for example, Kai went up to me and he was like, this boy called me a crybaby. And I'm like, then that guy is an idiot, Kai. You're literally four years old. Has he never cried when he was four? How old is he? Bring that boy up and I'm like, and I ask him, have you ever cried? Uh, uh, uh. Well, yeah, then, then what Then what are you talking about, dude? How old are you? You're 10? You're 10 talking smack to a four-year-old. You're a loser. You can't say that I just did. And then, then, then he ran home. I didn't see him at the park that day. But people will keep that energy and will keep doing the things they do until they get called out or until they realize. I mean, to be honest, I'd rather them realize and hopefully not try that with someone that would maybe take offense to it. But it's just insane to me because it, it's so common. It's so common. You have to remember you have, you have me, you have me. I respond. I, you know, that's a lie. <laughs> I might not respond, but I see every comment. Sometimes I'll be thinking of a way to respond, and I'll just be like, I'll give them a heart and a like. And I'm not about to be like, ha ha, that's so true. Just so I can get a comment out to you. I'm, I'm only going to say something if there's a response to be needed or something like that. But I, I always read my comments. People, like there's this one other YouTuber, smaller, his name is Mr. Frost. And he surpassed me in subscribers. Good job, Mix. Makes good videos, I've been enjoying them. About getting bullied or something. I remember watching that video. And it's it is high school. Like people unfriend you, people will, will change up, people will think they're grown in high school. I'll say that. They'll think that they kinda have everything figured out when they don't, that they're like this big bad man or woman, that they can do everything. And they'll they'll definitely people will use their friends as a shield. I've seen that more. That's my that's my bullying. <laughs> commentary for you. I hope you enjoyed it and stuff like that. So much love.